In this video, I'm going to be giving a quick overview of Metrics' new cart tracking, reports, and recovery email feature. Uh, to start, I'm just going to click carts on the left. And here I've already got it set up so a cart is appearing. Uh, but the first thing you're normally going to see is the settings page, which will ask you to enable cart tracking. If you don't see this button, you may see a notice asking you to update your metric helper plugin to 1.0 or higher. Uh, that's because the cart tracking functionality was only added in that version. Uh, so if you are running an older version, just update on your store um, in the plugins section of the admin, then refresh the cart settings page and you'll see this button. After you've enabled uh, cart tracking, you'll see some settings appear down here. So a lot of these um, are all going to be disabled by default, uh, but they all do different things. The first one just moves the email field to the top of the checkout, uh, which will give you a higher chance of capturing customer emails before they abandon their cart. It sometimes can have issues um, depending on your checkout if you've customized it a bit. So if you enable it, just make sure to check your checkout after. Um, or just feel free to leave it disabled. The next one, show email usage notice, will show a notice uh, below the email field on the checkout uh, and also down here in the add to cart email pop-up, which I'll talk about in a second. That notice just basically says that the cart is being tracked and they may receive emails and it also gives them a way to click a little link that will um, opt them out from cart tracking altogether. They won't receive any emails. And then finally, the add to cart Ajax email pop-up uh, setting lets you when enabled um, it'll try to show a little pop-up underneath the add to cart Ajax button so those are the buttons that when you click your page it doesn't take you straight to checkout it just um, loads adds the product to the cart uh, without changing the page then a little pop-up will appear um, that just kind of asks for their email and says it'll help them save their cart so that way you've captured their email before they go to checkout uh, Again, it, it might not work with all themes, so definitely check it out after you've enabled it and just check everything looks good. And then you can change the title here, which I've made already, Save Your Cart Friend. And then I'll just click Update. And then as soon as you've done that, it's going to update uh, everything on your store. Now I'm going to open up another window uh, to this actual store where we'll go and add something to our cart. Uh, so we'll take this orange one and then you can see that little add to cart uh, pop-ups appeared where if we enter an email it'll be captured uh, and sent along to metrics so later we can already retarget this cart uh, if they've abandoned it uh, and also there is the email usage notice that just warns them and if they click that it'll stop um, tracking the cart altogether won't send the email to metric or anything like that but we'll just continue on and click view cart And then we will go to checkout. And we might just start entering in some details. Oops, just finish off typing that email incorrectly. Uh, one thing that is quite cool is if the email uh, isn't typed correctly, maybe they've just put in some random characters or they've uh, forgotten to put. Uh, the .com so we don't even know what the domain is it won't send the email to metric so you're only going to get legitimate uh, real emails inside of metric again we've got that email usage notice here and at this point we may just abandon the cart you know um, and then I'm going to just go back to metric and then open up the carts list and we see that carts now appeared Jarvis at metric.com and we can see it's exactly what we were just adding to our cart uh, and a really cool thing about this is just how quickly it updates in real time with metric uh, and this is having zero impact on the store it's all happening behind the scenes so if we just update the cart now it's behind the scenes sending that data straight to metric and then if i refresh in metric we'll see that it now shows the two uh, products in the cart uh, that quickly uh, and you can kind of see up here the status uh, this is in metric like looking at the cart page you can see it's in progress um, you'd be able to see the name they've entered, the email, when it was last updated. We even have uh, the cart recovery URL. So perhaps you want to send the URL straight to the customer, you knew who they were, you just want to send them the URL instead of sending them automatic emails. Uh, you can do that. But at this point, um, it'll stay in progress for a little while. And then after a while of it not being updated and no order 
kind of being followed up by this customer, um, it'll be considered abandoned. And then at that point, we can start to do email automations, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but before I do that, I do just want to show you uh, the reports. Now, this is a demo store, so there isn't really much to show. Um, I do have one over here that has a bit more data. Um, so this is a different store, but you can kind of see what I mean by the cart reports. We've got a few different ones here. The cart started over time, abandoned, uh, placed and recovered. A placed cart is probably the only one that's a little unclear here. That's basically a cart that ended up in an order. So if we were back on here and we actually checked out, um, there's no abandoned cart here. It's just a cart that ended up with an order that was placed. So that would be considered a placed cart. And the rest are abandoned and then perhaps there are some that have been recovered uh, through our recovery emails feature inside a metric up the top right here we can change the dates and also this uh, report here what you're seeing today is really just the first version of it there's a lot more to come in terms of cart reporting uh, as we go on inside a metric now i'm back here on the demo store and i'm going to go to the recovery email section so this is all powered using metric engage which you can see down here as well um, so with metric engage it's going to send cart automation emails um, but a cool thing here is that if we want you can just click the create button here and it'll create three abandoned cart emails for you without you having to do anything so if i click create of course manually create is an option as well um, but it, it can be good to just get this head start by clicking the create button so now we've got three abandoned carts that have been created and we can go through each of them um, and kind of just give them a check before they'll send. At this point, they're not activated, so no emails are really gonna get sent yet. Um, you'll have to actually go through each one and activate them, so don't worry if you're not sure. Um, and also, if you're, I'll just quickly mention this, if you're you know, like, okay, I don't want three emails, just like straight away, you can just delete that, or you can duplicate them. Um, but in this case, we're gonna start by just clicking edit. So here we've just got the title and a little description about it. We'll just keep going to the next step uh, where we can choose the audience now at this point you can just um, decide to send it based on how long ago it was abandoned so if the car was abandoned over one hour ago you can send um, an email or we could say over five emails uh, five hours ago or five days ago uh, you can make a few of these for different periods so it's completely up to you uh, in a future update, you'll be able to choose um, just certain products. So you'll be able to make different abandoned cart automations depending on the product and category inside the cart. But right now, as of the July 2018, when I'm making this video, uh, you can just use the abandoned time. So we'll just keep it at over an hour ago. Uh, and one thing to mention here, it won't send exactly an hour. Like if right now in that other... Um, window on the store if I just left this cart right now close the window it's not going to send instantly in an hour there is a bit of a delay because we don't want to consider it abandoned one minute after they didn't check out just in case they close the window or just decide to leave it open for 10 minutes while they find their credit card uh, so it's only really after uh, it varies but between like half an hour to 45 minutes it's only really at that point that it'll be considered abandoned and then the email will send an hour after that which gives customers enough time to to actually finish the checkout rather than emailing them to annoy them if they were just going to check out anyway. Uh, but okay, we've got here an hour and then we're going to go to the message page. Now, again, this is all pre-filled for you. So if you're not really wanting to spend a lot of time writing these emails by scratch, this just gives you a bit of a head start. Um, here we're just saying, hi, customer name. Um, we notice you place some items in your cart um, and then we're just using a component to show the cart item big. So let's look at the preview. And you can see it looks a little bit like this. So it's very simple. Up here, normally it would have your logo. I haven't configured one for this store though. So it just says the name of the store. And then it just shows that the first item in their cart in a, with a big picture. And if they can click that complete my order button, um, what's really cool is that it's going to restore the cart for them and take them straight to checkout. So I know this one already has it, but I'm just going to use that as an example uh, where right now behind the scenes, it's putting that item back in their cart if it wasn't already. And it's put it there and it's taking us straight to checkout so we can just finish that process. And now if um, the customer checked out, it's going to be linked to that automation. So we'll know which of the cart recovery emails caused them to come back and recover the cart. And you'll also be able to see uh, in the checkout area that um, it was a 
recovered cart. So how about we actually go through and just do that quickly. So I'm now going to go down where I've entered in all these email e details and I'll put in a credit card number and then I will place the order. So now if I go back here and then I went over to the carts page, we'll see that that cart from before, um, and you can see it's linked to a different customer because I ended up checking out with my own email which already has an account in this store. But we can see that that cart uh, has been recovered and we have the order details and we could even look at the order. So it's all kind of tied together automatically um, as soon as the customer checks out. Uh, I just want to show you a couple more things about the recovery email. So I'm just going to head back there. Now if we just look at the second email, for example, I'll just skip straight to the message page. So it's a little bit of a different subject, um, the message is a little different, and we're using some different variables here. So if we preview, we'll have a look what it looks like. So you can see this one's a little bit cleaner. It just um, you know, subtly shows the products in their cart. The first one's good just to remind them straight away, this is the product you have. But the second one's kind of just saying, uh, here are all the items. So in this case, there's only one, but if you had three items, it would show all of them with a picture. And again, it just gives them that button to complete their order and check out. Um, another thing you can do as well on the message page, if I just go back to the editor, is actually add a discount. Um, and then perhaps we just want to say like, come complete your cart now, and we'll give you a 10% discount off the order. But the really cool thing is uh, that you don't even need to, normally you'll need to insert the discount variable and you still probably should just to say, um, here's 10% off. And then when that's there, it's just gonna uh, show the discount code. But a really cool thing that happens with cart emails is that, and I'm going to preview it just to show you, any buttons like this that will go to complete the cart, you can kind of see it down the bottom um, where it's showing in the URL just down there. <laughs> so I'll just hover again so you can see it. It's actually putting the coupon in the URL. And then uh, behind the scenes on your store, Metric's going to apply that coupon to their cart straight away. So they don't even have to do anything and they're going to get... Um, the coupon applied. So it's a really easy experience for the customer and it's nice for them when they click that button and go to your store and then they see that discount there straight away. Um, so once you've actually gone through all these emails and you're happy with them, the message and everything like that, all you have to do is click activate and then from going forward, any cuts that match those rules will get the emails automatically. And of course, just like um, the regular metric engage which you can look in different videos um, you'll be able to pause the automation here you'll be able to edit it so feel free just to like kind of start get those emails sent and then look at the results and play around and create new ones um, and of course each of these uh, cut recovery email have their own page where you can see stats about it after it's activated how many have been sent how many resulted in conversions or recovered carts yeah uh, the only other thing I'm going to quickly mention that I forgot to show you earlier on is the carts list page um, that we had here. But a really cool thing we can do is actually segment carts by a number of different things. You could say, okay, show me all the carts that had a total over 100 or all the carts um, that had like a number of items in them was between 2 and infinity. So we can see just that one has appeared. Um, and of course, you can also save custom segments. So I could save it as um, you know, two or more cart items and it will appear in my save segments, share it with my team. So it's pretty similar to orders and products and customers where you have all those features. You'll have them for carts as well. So um, again, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope I've managed to cover everything in this, but if you have any questions, just reach out. Uh, again, this is a really new feature as of the time I'm making this video, uh, so things are only going to get better. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.